Best Things to Do in Anguilla Alluring and unassuming, Anguilla is a Caribbean gem. Dazzling beaches are the island's biggest draw, mixed with friendly locals, and an authentic island vibe that packaged tourism has diluted on other Caribbean islands. Here are the top things to do on a getaway in Anguilla. Discover Anguilla's world-famous beaches. For any traveler who doesn't consider themselves a beach lover, Anguilla's pristine white beaches will convert you. At just 16 miles long and 3 miles wide, the island is home to 33 beaches, which means you're never far from a stunning stretch of sand. For those seeking the ultimate in picturesque destinations, Anguilla's most celebrated beaches, including Meads Bay, Shoal Bay, and Rendezvous Bay, have garnered lots of love for a reason. On each, you'll find restaurant outposts with beach chairs where you can spend the day slipping between the sun and the sea pre- or post-dining. For those who want more adventure, grab a rental car and head out to explore. When driving in Anguilla, you'll be reminded that this is still a British overseas territory, don't forget to drive left. The eastern end of the island offers a range of beaches perfect for explorer spirits. Head to Captain's Bay for a rugged end-of-the-world vibe where you'll likely be rewarded with a beach all to yourself. Taste your way through the island. Anguilla's impressive dining scene takes some visitors by surprise. With chefs from around the globe calling the island home, the biggest challenge is fitting in your dining wish list into a single visit. Chef proprietors run many of the island's restaurants and take pride in consistently putting out fabulous food. For fine dining, don't miss Jacala, a French restaurant on Meads Bay that offers a long, drawn-out lunch. Prepare for a bottle of rosette and a multi-course meal that's bound to be your day's most important affair. Ember Restaurant, helmed by Chef Marc Alvarez, is a must for dinner. Offering wood-fired cuisine that celebrates local ingredients, you might find specialties like wood-roasted crayfish scampi alongside lavender-braised lamb shank on its seasonally changing menu. Nab a pre-dinner aperitivo at the bar before sliding into an outdoor table and relaxing for the remainder of the night. For a more casual approach to dining, try Picanti, a taqueria with Caribbean influences doling out pitchers of Serrano margaritas, and specialties like double-decker fish tacos prepared with fresh grilled magi. Explore the island by boat. Just one glimpse of Anguilla's neon-hued seas, and you'll quickly realize that not all beaches and coastlines are created equal. Anguilla's crystalline waters are straight out of a postcard, and there's no better way to explore than by boat. The island's small size means that you can visit a range of beaches, hidden cubs, and off-island caves in a single day for a mix of sun, sand, and snorkeling. Don't miss a stop at Little Bay, a very secluded beach, and a quick sip by Anguilla's arch formation on the island's west end. Head to Prickly Pear for lunch on one of Anguilla's enchanting off-island caves for a BBQ on the beach. Spend the afternoon snorkeling off the shoreline or visiting the oft-overlooked caves and route. Alternatively, on the main island, enjoy lunch at Falcon's Nest in Island Harbor, a casual restaurant owned by local fishermen situated within the island's primary fishing village. Funtime and Calypso both offer private boat charters that generally seat up to 12 passengers. Cruise to Anguilla's off-island Cays. If you thought Anguilla felt remote before, wait until you experience the islands off of the island. For the ultimate desert island experience, head to one of three primary off-island Cays, Silly Cay, Sandy Island, or Prickly Pear. Each island has its own personality, and all three offer dining options to make a day of the experience. Generally, open just two days per week, Silly Cay is known for serving up, one of the island's best lobster lunches alongside its famed rum punches. To reach Scilly, take a small shuttle from Island Harbor's pier on the island's eastern side. Uncover the beauty of Little Bay. Little Bay, situated on the island's north shore, is accessible only by water. Unless you count the rock-mounted rope that allows you to rappel down to its beach. With stunning rugged rock formations and a picture-perfect crescent-shaped cove. Little Bay is a truly unique landscape on the island. For the active adventure-seeking bunch, climb your way to the top of the rock at Little Bay to take the plunge, a rite of passage for many visitors to this picturesque enclave. Go horseback riding on Cove Bay. 
For more than 25 years, Tonia of Anguilla's Seaside Stables has operated a private ranch in Anguilla. Set on Cove Bay on the island's western side, nine horses call Seaside Stables home. Visitors, including families with children, can sign up for beach rides to explore the shoreline or dip into the sea. Rides can be catered to all levels, so novices are as welcome as expert riders. For a serious wow, take a private ride at sunset. Try your hand at water sports. Anguilla provides a perfect backdrop for active travelers who prefer to take their workout to the sea. Try stand-up paddleboarding or kite surfing. For newbies, Anguilla's conditions make it a perfect destination to learn how to kite surf, and Anguilla Water Sports Kiteboarding Academy will get you on the sea with the pro. For something a little smoother, try their paddleboard tour from Crocus Bay to Little Bay and end your tour at one of the island's most beloved marine preserves. Get pampered at the spa. At its core, Anguilla is about downshifting and celebrating a slower pace of life. If you're a traveler that needs some help with unwinding, spa services may do the trick. Many of the island's five-star resorts offer a bivy of spa services, but none is more captivating than Zemi Beach's Thai House Spa. Take in live music at the Dune Preserve. Music lovers will fawn over Anguilla's music scene. With a population of merely 14,000, the amount of musical talent on the island is astonishing. With a host of bands and solo artists playing at restaurants, beach bars, and hotels across the island. The Dune Preserve, founded by island music legend Banky Banks, offers live music in a setting that's unlike any other. Sample local BBQ at Ken's Pork. Driving through the island's capital, you'll see a primary school with hand-painted images of the island's national symbols, which include Anguilla's national dish, rice and peas. There's no better way to enjoy this combo than served with classic Anguillian BBQ at a local outpost, the way it's been done for decades. Head to Ken's Pork in the Valley for a taste of island favorites. Ribs, chicken or a combo served up with your choice of rice and peas, Joni Cakes, cornmeal flatbread, and other island accouterments. Fountain Cavern National Park. Close to Shoal Bay, the Fountain Cavern is Anguilla's top archaeological site. This natural and cultural wonder is home to two freshwater pools and many Amerindian petroglyphs, which lie 15 meters below ground in a cave. The most significant of these is a tall stellite mite carved in the shape of Jokahu, the supreme god of the Taino Indians. The Fountain Cavern is thought to have been a major regional worship site and a place of pilgrimage for Amerindians. Safety recommendations and restrictions during a pandemic can change rapidly. Lonely Planet recommends that travelers always check with local authorities for up-to-date guidance before traveling during COVID-19.